Good morning, family of Africa Praise Ministries and friends and family all over the world. Welcome to our 2020 Christmas service. Amen. Well, it's different this year. Yes, we are li living in unprecedented times. But before I even go on any further, I just want to greet you. I want to wish you and your family a blessed and safe Christmas. Amen. And, um, and from wherever you're watching, please text us, tell us where you're watching from. And we love you. Uh, unfortunately, the mother of the house, my wife, Sharon Samuels, can't make it today. She's laid up in hospital. She's doing well. She sends a greeting. She sends a love to you. I want you to remember my family in prayer today. And uh, we're going through some uh, tough times, um, sickness-wise. But God is in control. I know many are out, out there, family, friends, close friends, are going through the same. But I want to reassure you, my friends, my f brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, never forget your life is in His hands. Amen. We can, and just like Job, uh, Job says, no matter you, I'm can be slain, but I will still praise you. And remember, remember, for the garment of heaviness, for the spirit of heaviness, there's a garment of praise. Amen. Well, uh, again, I want to wish you a blessed and safe Christmas. Yes, it's different this year many places of worship many churches are closed yes the pandemic is has reached unprecedented heights we have never thought we would have thought that in this time christmas day we would be in such a situation wow it's all leading to my message that the holy spirit gave me today and we're going to see how god He's still in control, my friends. He's still in control. God is still in control. And I'm going solo in the studio today. I'm just going to tell you a bit about my background. Yes, you can see in the, uh, in the forefront, I have the Christmas tree. Yes, that's symbolic of where we are right now. But in the background, I deliberately kept it a bit uh, lighter or darker rather. And I... I set it up with lights in there and in such a way that yes in the midst the darkness that is going on around us at the moment even in this Christmas time God's called you my friends to be the light and this and the salt remember each little star there that you see in the background is a little light and just like the songwriter says, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine all the time for Jesus. No matter how, or no matter what you're going through, friends, you could be right now alone in your home. You could have family members sick right now and friends sick. You could be just lying there thinking, well, it's this year to use the colloquial term there's a different hype for christmas yes indeed it is a different hype god is taking us back to the beginning and i will get to that just now as part of my sermon but i want to encourage you today because jesus came god sent his son to give us hope and that's what we need right now hope people are gripped with fear Friends, fear, I don't want to, that's another sermon for another day. And I've preached that many times before, even on live stream. Friends, don't let the devil steal your joy. I am not letting the devil steal my joy. I'm not going to crawl into a corner and say, oh, look what's happening around me. Look what's happening to me. Look what's happening to my family. Never, 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 never. Because I know the God I serve, He is in control. He was in, 
control from day one of when this earth was before it was formed is in control now he will be in control till the end of this world and he is in control when we all are in eternity so let heaven come down to earth that's what god says enjoy heaven on earth don't wait to get up there to enjoy it enjoy it right now hallelujah i just want to encourage you today and i know everyone so um have gone into a mode of what's going to happen is it really really uh, uh people uh, yeah, are people going to even die more friends i don't know the answers but all i could tell you my f- dear friends sons and daughters of the most high god that god is in control how do i know it i know it because i've been experiencing it myself I know where God has brought me from. I know where God has placed me right now and I know where he is taking me to. You got to have that revelation. I declare it today on this Christmas morning. This unusual Christmas morning. I declare that to you in Jesus mighty name. Yes. Things could be look all gloom and doom, but as you see in the background that studio star light i'm so glad it's set up like that you are called to be the light you i have never ever seen and it will never ever be my friends that darkness will ever overpower light never 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 therefore god's called you to be the light now look at it all our little lights put together will form this big light it's time yes going back to basics it's time that we start to worship god in spirit and in truth i know this christmas many of you just went through the motions some of us didn't even do what we normally do the hype of the com- commercial world yes people were scared to in shop people were scared to do things friends yes that is good no i'm not a scrooge <laughs> i'm not saying don't spend your money i'm not saying don't have a good time yes this is a season to be jolly this is a season to celebrate because god has sent his son jesus christ and we'll get to that now but i want to spend some time just encouraging you friends i don't care and you know i spent a lot of time last night in the spirit i spent a lot of time this morning praying i don't rush telling you how long i pray or what but i've been praying and i've been praying in tongues and the and my spirit has been communicating with god in a very big way I have a peace friends I have a peace the bible says the peace that god gives no man can give you no drug no substance can give you you got to have that revelation you got to know it through god's word and that's how he speaks to you wow i'm so happy please text us tell us where you um uh, are watching from send us a comment send us a greeting yes and uh, i see so many people online um as you say i'm going solo today uh so i'm going to control i'm controlling the you see the lower thirds coming at the bottom all the titles uh the sound and everything listen friends this is god is in control he is in control i just want to encourage you no matter what the doctor's reports say i would believe the report of the lord amen you friends if you're sitting in a hospital on that hospital bed and I'm going I just feel led in my spirit to pray before I start and if you're sitting there and if you wondering wow I should be at home enjoying the festivities friends you're in the right place not I'm saying that sickness brought you, you should have done anything no the mere fact you're listening to God's word listen look past me I'm just a human being I'm just a vessel. When you enjoy a, a cool drink, when you enjoy a fruit juice, 
you don't marvel at the container that they get that that brings it to you you enjoy your taste bud doesn't get to enjoy the container your taste bud gets to enjoy the content the inside of it yes so i'm just a vessel bringing a message i want you to soak in god's presence today in that hospital bed in that room all by yourself in that place wherever you are right now in your private space i, I family you would maybe with family maybe with friends maybe in a different town maybe in a different land friends we may be in lockdown i keep saying this but we are never shut off from god's presence god is present with me in the studio right now god is present with you right there in your space wherever you are in the world friends that's the god we serve that's the god we serve and i thank you i thank him for peace i thank him for uh, i thank the holy spirit for his comfort and i just want to pray before i start in and getting to god's word I have a message that the Holy Spirit's placed in my heart and I want to share that with you today. Come let us pray and as I stretch my hands out for those of you that are feeling down that spirit of heaviness, I'm going to pray and that's going to leave and and the Holy Spirit's moving right through right now in through the atmosphere right through you. Let's pray. God our heavenly Father, we come in no other name but of your son Jesus Christ. Daddy, we are nothing. you are everything and just as philippians 4:13 says i can do all things through christ who strengthens us holy spirit you have spoken to me to, today keep speaking to me as i speak to your precious sons and daughters out there and i bring all those that are down in spirit right now there's a spirit of heaviness i rebuke it i cancel it in the name of Jesus i bind your work satan for those that are sick for those that are fear a grip by fear by anxiety being paranoid in Jesus mighty name i break your hold satan i bind your works your mission in Jesus name and i know whatever i'm binding on earth right now according to your word has already been bound in heaven father loosen us with deliverance healing Lord would a spirit of power love and a sound mind fear leave go back to where you came from Lord even as I Lord expound your word I know Holy Spirit you are in charge touching through the airwaves your precious sons and daughters amen friends just remember you are the apple of God's eye amen you are indeed the apple of God's eye Well, the title of my sermon, you know, while preparing um, a month ago, God gave me, uh, well, I had a sermon, then it changed uh, two weeks ago, and then it changed again. Well, so I've got sermons for the next three years for Christmas, so <laughs> there we go. Well, today, I want to share with you, and I want to give you my title at the beginning, The Name of Jesus. igniting hope and faith in a helpless and fearful world let me repeat my title the name of jesus igniting hope and faith in a helpless and fearful world yes friends i said i say it again nobody would have thought that we would celebrate christmas like the way we are doing this year Yes. Unheard of, unheard of, unheard of. Today friends, I just want to say to you, God is taking us back to the beginning. Yes, the name of Jesus, John 3:16. For God so loved the world. God loved the world that he gave friends his only begotten son. See Christmas we see christmas we celebrate with the fancy tinsels and all the decoration nothing wrong with that and we we know christmas with all the fancy lighting and so on and the songs playing in the background yes but we got to look beyond the cradle looking to calvary looking to the christ as 
who established the new covenant in his blood. That's what Christmas is. Many of us get stuck at the cradle. The cradle represents the worldly celebrations. Yes, the reindeers and this and Father Christmas and so on. Friends, Christmas is far beyond that. It's about the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's about the name of Jesus. That's what Christmas is all about. And that name ignites hope, oh, just not brings it. You can have, friends, I can bring you any object. But when it starts to ignite, when it starts to uh, burn its purpose, it means more to you. Yes, I could give you a gift. Many of you received gifts this Christmas. And as long as the gift is wrapped and left under the tree or wherever it is, it's just a gift. Yes, God sent his gift, Jesus Christ, to earth. And before I move on, the gift that you have and I have, the world has. Yes, Jesus is for the world. The entire world. I don't care what religion, color, creed you are. Jesus, God the Father, sent His Son, Jesus Christ, for you. Whether you have all the body parts, whether you have half of your body parts, or what, whether you are black like me, or fur, or pink, brown, or whatever race, color, creed, whether you're rich or poor, the Father sent His Son. Christmas was the entry point for that. Yes, the gift the gift that nobody takes a gift and leaves it and receives a gift and and leaves it unwrapped. That's what I, the title is alluding to. The name of Jesus, we have it. It's free. God gave it. We didn't deserve it. We didn't ask. God gave. And what does that name? It ignites hope in this time where there's so much of helplessness and fear the name of jesus ignites that hope let this christmas celebration be the ignition of hope and faith in your life yes we as christians live and walk by faith and not by sight yes we don't uh, we may not see the cure for covid 19 right now we may not see um uh, the, um, in fact, we see the opposite where um, oh, uh, there's more infection. But friends, friends, I want to say to you, it, Jesus is still in charge. Exercise your faith. And I said this Christmas has sent us back to the beginning. In John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, what a scripture. John 1. <laughs> 1. It's right at the beginning of that first chapter, the first verse. What does it say? In the beginning, in the beginning, yes, friend, was the Word. The Word, the Word of God is promises, God's Word. And the Word was with God. Now remember, there's a past tense, was. And the Word was God. He who was in the beginning was with God, that is Jesus. All things were made through him, that's Jesus Christ. And without him, nothing was made that was made. Aren't you glad the God we serve is the creator? In him was life. Yes, it's in the past tense because it happened already. We got to unwrap that gift, friends. We got to ignite it. You see... Dynamite is powerful, yes, friends, but without the ignition, it's it will remain powerful, but you will never see the effect of it. And in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah! The light of men, and the light shines in the darkness, like you see in the background, in the studio background, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Hallelujah. In the beginning. So the word of God became flesh. Christmas is the entry of Jesus. The God's word 
into this world to establish through Calvary, through the shedding of Jesus' blood, the new covenant, bringing salvation, bringing hope, bringing eternal life to you and I, to your family, to your friends, to anyone that believes in Jesus. Hallelujah. Friends, I'm still stuck in John 1. And I'm going to take you through to verse 14. And the word, and I'm reading in the Amplified Version, John 1, 14. And the word, hallelujah, and in brackets it says Christ. Why Christ? And the word Christ became flesh. Yes, Christ means the anointed one. The anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage and lived amongst us. Yes, Christ came and he lived amongst us. That's the message of Christmas. Yes, the celebrations are great but the reason for the season is Christ put him back into Christmas and the word became Christ became flesh and lived amongst us and we actually saw his glory glory as belongs to the one and only begotten son of the father hallelujah Jesus Christ friends the entry the birth of Jesus heralding, ignited the supernatural. Yes, it was the natural birth of Jesus Christ. Yes, the word becoming flesh that prompted, that ignited the supernatural events to come. Hallelujah. The supernatural events to come. Friends, living in the supernatural should be a, a way of life for every believer yes i've seen it friends in my life i've seen it even in times of sickness i've seen it in times of need friends almost this entire year we've lived in a so-called lockdown god has met every one of my needs i'm a full-time pastor but god is my source is met my need yes he uses man as a resource i want you today friends wherever you are just be faithful in your life in your time your talent yes even by sending that little message via whatsapp via social media you are spreading the gospel. It's about, yes, the message. That's the message of Christmas. Bringing hope, igniting that hope and faith. Many people have lost faith, friends. Yes, they want to curl into a corner and they want to just let life pass them. Giving up is not an option for you, my friend. Child of God, giving up is not an option because Jesus lives I told you look beyond the cradle look beyond the cradle my friend look beyond the cradle the cradle is exactly what it is just a little cradle that's a place he didn't even have a place they found a place in the manger little cradle made out of straw because that's not important it's not important about the physical surrounding right now. Yes. God could allow Jesus to be born if there was a seven star hotel or even if there was a 20 star hotel. But it sh God the Father showed us humility from the very entry of Jesus Christ on this earth. That's what it's about. Humility. Love. We've got to look beyond the cradle of this Christmas to Calvary the cross to the blood that Jesus shed for your sickness for your yes the broken body and is the Christ the anointed one that breaks every yoke of bondage friends 
I said again, and I, I said it and I say it again, giving up is not an option. Is not an option. God will restore what the canker worm, palmer worm and locust have destroyed. I, I, I don't like saying double for your trouble. I don't pray when I pray for people and say, you're going to get tenfold blessings. I just say multifold blessings. Who am I to limit God's blessing on your life? If God wants to bless you tenfold, he will. If God wants to bless you hundredfold, that's what it is. Friends, God's blessing, it, because he loved us, the Father, he sent Jesus Christ. His blessings are for you and I. This Christmas, yes, it's different. But we serve the same God. Hebrews 30, 38 says, For Jesus is the same, the same Jesus that when he entered the earth, yes, through his birth, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Friends, no matter how bleak this Christmas looks, we have the one that brings brightness. Let me repeat that. No matter how bleak this Christmas is, the one that brings the brightness has come, is here. Ignite hope through Jesus Christ. Ignite your faith. Faith is the gift of the Spirit. And everyone has been given a measure of faith. And today, friends, as I come to close, I don't know your circumstances. God knows it. That's important. And when he knows it, you again I say, you're the apple of his eye. Just be strong. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong. Be courageous. Do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. And he will never leave you. Nor forsake you. Friends, this Christmas... The name of Jesus. I just feel led to even quote this scripture right now. Philippians 2, 9 and 10. For the name of Jesus. For God has given and exalted. Is given. God the Father has given. And exalted. Meaning raised up higher than anything else. The name of Jesus. For God has given and exalted the name of Jesus. Above every other name. In heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. For at the mention of the name, say it, the name, say it again, the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. For at the mention of the name of Jesus, look what will happen. Every knee will bow, every tongue confess, every sickness bow, every need will bow. Everything will bow to the name of Jesus, to the glory of the Father. So no matter where you are today, no matter what you're going through, Christ is in control. Come, I want to pray and pronounce a blessing over your family. And um, I th uh, I, it's the name of Jesus. I see so many people commenting, yes. It is the name of Jesus. So no matter where you are, I just want you to say, Jesus. Type in your Jesus. Jesus. Let's start. No matter where you are in the world, just say, Jesus. Type in a Jesus to us. Because the more we mention the name of Jesus, the more power there is. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, beyond the cradle beyond Calvary, to the Christ who died for you and I. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for this time. We come in Jesus' name and we thank you for this time that we spent. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking through me to your precious sons and daughters out there. And today, Lord, I know lives are being touched and changed. Father, 
I just pray that there'll be peace upon each family. Today I pray it, I speak it and declare it in Jesus' name. There's so many out there that are apprehensive, Lord, that are so paranoid, that are gripped with fear. I take authority over those spirits of heaviness and I command them to leave in Jesus' name. Touch your precious sons and daughters, Lord, I pray. And I know, Lord, yes, it's a celebration, but you're the reason for the season. I thank you, I praise you for our time together. Holy Spirit, you are the after speaker. I thank you, I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, as I normally say, my time's up. And um, thank you for joining me today on this special Christmas 2020. Yes, friends, remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. And put back the name of Jesus, igniting hope and faith in an helpless and fearful world. So ne until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels from Africa Praise Ministries in Durban, South Africa. Praying that you have a blessed, you have a favored and safe Christmas and holiday season. Stay blessed.